Ratan Sharda, author and analyst first. Ratan Sharda, you know, away from party lines, 75 years of uh, parliament journey was what was supposed to be the theme to celebrate it of the special session, Amrit Kal session it was called, and what one heard from BJP MP Ratan, Sh uh, Ratan Sharda was nothing Amrit about that. Well, uh, uh, Priti, first of all, let me say that I do not uh, at, at all ever will, you know, brazen it out if somebody uses abusive language. In my all public life, I never use abusive language. And there is way to control your tongue and you can control it if you wish to. In case I have, I have boycotted two panelists who used to abuse, but rather than abusing them, I quit the panels and they slowly disappeared. Now, whether you want to go down that path or whether you want to use abuse versus abuse is something that they have to decide. When will the time be when all opposition and ruling party will decide on the table one day, enough is enough. Let us uh, keep the slate clean and stop using such language, whether on TV, whether on media, whether in Lok Sabha. Having said that, this same Danish Ali got highly upset when somebody in the public program said Bharat Mata Ki Jaya and he disrupted the whole program. So he has such a thin skin. Today he's behaving like a martyr. He has been sitting in the media panels for time for years together, laughing at Hindu gods, ridiculing Hindu gods. He never objected. Sartan se juda. There are people on the panels who refuse to condemn that. And if this is the way when shivling can become fountain, and people who call it fountain become celebrated on the TV, but person who who gets outraged and gives some scriptural accounts is condemned for life to death. Is this the kind of public discourse you want? I say stop this uh, this kind of politics, this kind of argument doesn't take us anywhere. No person in the public would like to have a discourse lower to this level. As far as Bidhuri is concerned, he should have simply apologized. In the heat of the movement, maybe Danish says something and he, he responded. But once he has responded, he has to immediately retract. And not only retract, BJP has taken action against him. But Ratan Shah, I, I want to bring in, people. right, I want to bring in, I want to bring in Sanjay Singh. Let's say even if he expresses regret, if... You know, this video is still viral and um, words that were used in that speech, uh, we can't even get close to that. But, uh, you know, in a, in a strange way, let me even come and touch on it. Pimp, circumcised one, is mulle ko bahar nikalo. Now, even if somebody expresses regret, if this can happen on the floor of the parliament, what is the message that you send out outside? This didn't happen, sir, on a, on a news panel. It didn't happen in a sabha. It happened on the floor of the Indian Parliament, Temple of Democracy, the highest echelons of the power-making body of our country. But Sanjay Singh, I also want to pull you in, uh, you know, into this conversation. Uh, Ramesh Baduri represents a seat in Delhi, South Delhi seat, and sir, you know that better, a seat which was represented by the likes of Sushma Swaraj, by the likes of VK Singh, uh, 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 by the likes of uh, ML Kurana. Now, for someone like that to use, you know, representing the seat from there, using the kind of filthy language that he did, shouldn't the BJP at least go ahead and publicly make a statement by suspending him? It, it would uh, shameful, I think, uh, is not the right word. I don't know what would be the right word to say. Uh, that is uh, what uh, Ramez Budhiru said on floor of the house. That too on a subject uh, on which it was not a contentious subject at all, on which the discussion was going on in parliament. No matter how strong a provocation was, the response cannot be like that. Uh, of course, uh, what he said was taken cognizance by none less than Rajnath Singh, or the defense minister uh, out there. I think he responded immediately after he finished, he got up and expressed his regret and apologized for whatever remarks Ramesh Bidhuri made. BJP, of course, uh, as we know, has issued a so-called notice. The point that you are making, uh, uh, this was a new parliament house, and if Mr. Biduri had heard his own leader and Prime Minister Modi, of course, as Prime Minister is leader of the nation also, uh, he made six speeches in past four days, and each of uh, his speeches this time, he was talking about consensus, he was talking about forgiveness, whatever had happened in the past, the bitterness that might have been there, and a building of consensus and going to new house of uh, new, new parliament house, whereby the, the, a new beginning had to be made, particularly on an issue when women reservation bill had been passed, and the uh, lower house Lok Sabha was talking about Israel and Chandrayaan Sri and solar mission. 
this nothing can be more unfortunate than this. I think what Pramilas Biduri has done, he has uh, he has of course solid his own image, his party's image. And with six months uh, now on, when uh, candidate selection would be done by the BJP, I think Mr. Budhuri is uh, would be hard place to find it, maybe hard place to find a ticket from the party. 